Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a linear swirl shape in Adobe Illustrator. And you can do this with the transform tool. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off in Illustrator. We're going to create a new document, so I'll come up here to Create New. I'll go to Print up here at the top, and then choose Letter, and then come down here to the bottom right and Create. First, I'm going to add a black background to the artboard. So I'll get on my rectangle tool. You can also hit M on your keyboard to get there. I'll click and I'll drag just the full size of my artboard. Now, what I've got is a white fill and a black background. So I'm just going to Shift X to get a black fill and a white background. Shift X just switches your fill and your stroke. If you don't have um, these colors, you can double click on the fill color and then choose black. We'll say OK. And we really don't want a white stroke on this. That's an outline. Um, um, you can't really see it, but there's a white outline here. So I'll click that and then just choose none. OK, so next I'm going to hit L on my keyboard to draw a perfect circle. That's our ellipse tool. So I'm going to shift and drag a circle right in the middle of the artboard. Now this is going to have the same fill as the last thing you drew, which would be the rectangle. And I actually do not want a fill on this. Um, so I'll click the fill and I'll click none. And then I'll click stroke and I just want kind of a, a blue. And um, My stroke right now is at one point and that is just fine. Maybe I'll make it two points so you can see it a little better. If you don't have this bar up here, you can just go to Window, Control. All right, with the circle selected, um, if it's not selected, come up here to your selection tool and just click on it like this. With that selected, let's go to Effect, Distort, and Transform, and then Transform. And that'll bring up the transform effect dialog box. When you're working with the transform effect or really any effect, it's a good idea to turn on preview as long as your computer can handle it. And that way you can see all the changes that it's making as, as you change them. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is come down here to copies and change this to 75. So what it's doing is adding 75 copies of this circle. And then when you make the changes, you can really see a lot of differences because of those 75. Let's change our horizontal to 96. Now you won't see a change until you click into one of the other boxes. But you can see what it did. We've got 75 copies and each one is 96% smaller than the one before. Now let's move this horizontally by about negative 10 and see what that does. Okay, so we get kind of an interesting effect there. And for the vertical, let's just click in here and highlight this and then use our arrows. I'm going to use my down arrow to see what happens. So I'm just hitting the down button to get, we'll stop right at about minus 13. That looks good. And I'll say, okay. Now I'm going to move this down so we can see what's happening a little better. I'll command minus to zoom out and it's going all the way up there. Just going to reduce the size of my circle so you can see the whole thing on my screen at once. And now I'll hit Z and draw a box around it to zoom back in. Z will bring you to your zoom tool. Okay, we've already got a really interesting effect right now, but um, I want to keep working with this. So let's go ahead and go back to our transform. This will be in appearance. So if you're not seeing your appearance palette, you can go to window and appearance right here. And you might have to click the little carrot to be able to see transform, but I think it's going to be down here anyway. So just click on the transform and you'll get your transform effect palette back up. Okay, now let's rotate this. And to do that, we'll just highlight this, make sure preview is checked, and we'll use our up arrows to get it to rotate. All right, that looks pretty good. You can also play around with these options down here. If you turn these off, they kind of don't really change a lot. 
but if you turn these off and on, they change quite a bit. So if you reflect X, here's your effect. Reflect Y and random. And then, um, and those are pretty cool, but I think I'm gonna leave all of these unchecked. If we change our starting point with this little thing down here, you can see even different effects. So if we start from the upper left, we get this effect. I'll just click through them all. You can kind of see what happens. You get kind of a, a shell shape with some of these. So it's a lot of fun to play around with these effects. I'm gonna hit okay on this window. And then I wanna show you what happens if you command Y or control Y on a PC. You'll see that everything is an effect that's just on this circle. I'll hit command Y or control Y to get back. You can change this in a lot of interesting ways by just changing your circle. So I'll hit the A. This is my, a to, this is my direct selection tool. And I'm gonna click right on the edge of that circle and just pull it up and it really changes the effects when you do this kind of thing. Ooh, that's a really neat one. Okay, if we hit Command Y, you can see what I've done to the circle, and Command Y again to get back. That's Control Y on a PC. Okay, now I'm just going to resize this down because I really love the way that turned out. All right, that's the power of the transform effect. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.